shall pass away. I'm a born again, more than a conqueror. That is who I am. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Hallelujah! Glory be to God forever and forever. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father in the name of Jesus. Fellow believers, brothers and sisters in the Lord, brethren, body of Christ, you are all welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus. I have something today I want to share with you. I want us to go through the scriptures in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians 4. Why I want to bring this Bible study for us to share the scripture today. This Saturday is because of uh, uh, I had a dream about two different times just this month concerning this um uh, no, late, late last month and early this month concerning Second Corinthians 4. So I just said, okay, maybe the Lord is speaking to me through the scriptures or maybe the Lord wants to talk to you also through the scriptures. So that's why I decided to bring this for us to share the gospel. So let us start to read from the chapter Second uh, Corinthians 4 verse 1. God gave me two different dreams concerning this very chapter. And he told me first about religion. He was telling me about the war religion. He said that it has blinded the eyes of so many people. That was on the 29th of uh, October, this 2020. Then he came again and said, give me again. The other week I was going through a lot of battle and spiritual attack. Then he came and gave me this section again for the same uh, chapter here and he was telling me about how we uh no matter what is happening now in the world and happening to us in the body of christ we are still strong in the lord because we have the holy spirit in us he was talking here in this area he was saying that even though we are troubled but we are on every side but we are not distressed so it came down here and told me again something again in the dream about the glory to our light affliction which is just for a moment it is for more, far more exceeding an internal weight of glory so uh, let's just just go through the scripture and just discuss about it so the um let's start from verse one he said therefore seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy so we faint not i remember when i was in finland the lord told me this that was 2018 when i was doing my mission work i was so battled with spiritual battle and spiritual persecution and i was telling the lord that i don't want to do it anymore i don't have uh, i'm not I, I don't really i'm not have any interest i'm tired and all that then the lord was telling me he said you know he, he, he asked me the holy spirit told me so it was so amazing he said that he told me in in a vision he said you know he said you cannot give up right you know because it is my ministry right it's not your ministry right i said okay it was so nice i said okay daddy if you said that okay then i know that i can do it i can do all things through you who threatens me so he said we should not faint we faint not we faint not but we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty not walking in craftiness no handling the word of god deceitfully but by manifestation of the truth commanding ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of god but if our gospel be hidden it is hidden to them that are lost in whom the god of this world have blinded the mind of them that believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of christ who is the image of god will shine upon them yeah god was talking to me here that all the world religion you see today all the things that are happening in the world today like all the different type of religion who does not really believe in the sacrifice of the blood of jesus on the cross they are the, the it is all the, this cream white religion you can say they are all created by satan it is all establishment of the devil i even like that scripture there's a scripture in second corinthians i think it's in second corinthians uh, let me see 
Second Corinthians 10, 11, that is talking about here that uh, we marvel. We, we and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into the angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing that of his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Yeah. So now the Bible says that Satan also and his angels, they have, they have transformed onto like ministers of light. That is why all juju doctors all over the world, demonic high priests, all satanic agents, all of them have now come now now to make churches open churches there is so much deception in the world today even the bible says that if you don't even be uh, careful even the very elect will be deceived so many fake churches so many religions so many false and lies that is going on all is the world system all world uh, world system and religions the devil is behind it the bible says the god of this world has blinded the eyes for everyone who will not believe this glorious god Gospel, so that they will be saved so that God's light can shine upon them and they can be saved so you see all the uh, philosophy in the world you see all these uh, universities teaching things and now with uh, with or with science all the science all culture in the world all kind of uh, kind of uh, cultural tradition the devil is all behind it it is all the babylon you can say the babylonian uh, system the god of the babylonian system the religion all the fake religion cream white religion in the world is the devil the god of this world who has blinded the mind of so many people that will not believe the bible says that if they come to christ the veil will be removed you know this veil will be removed will be done away when they come to christ but until you are saved until you become a new creation are you are born again that veil will still remain and blinded your mind so that you cannot be able to know about the glorious gospel continue here let's read continue it says here that for we preach not ourselves but 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 Christ the Lord and also ourselves, we are servants for Jesus' sake. Amen. We are servants. We are not preaching ourselves, but we preach always Jesus Christ and Him crucified. For God, who commanded light to shine out of darkness, has shined now in our heart. Now in our heart to give, the Bible says, to give now light of the of the knowledge of the glory of god in the face of jesus christ yes the, the god who commanded light to shine out of darkness because in the beginning the bible said that the whole earth or the world was was covered with darkness in the book of genesis 1 and then the bible said that the the spirit of god which is the holy spirit was hovering upon the face of the deep and it was all darkness but he decided to say let there be light and the bible said there was light he divided the light from darkness which is satan and the kingdom of god he divided the light from darkness so that same god who commanded light to shine out of darkness in the genesis the bible says he has now shined in our heart amen in the name of the lord jesus christ he has now shined in our heart to give now light now to to the knowledge of god in the name of the lord jesus christ to give us now light knowledge of god let me fix this camera so that it can point to the scriptures in jesus name yes to shine now in our heart to give us this knowledge of the lord jesus christ jesus christ is the image of the invisible god i know the bible says god is spirit those who worship him they worship him in spirit and in truth so now jesus christ is that image that means something that you can see even if you go to heaven it's still the lord jesus christ you will see you will not see god with your physical eye because jesus is the image of the invisible god god was inside christ reconciling the world back to himself so jesus god is inside jesus christ Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the Godhead is in the body of Jesus. That's why the Bible talked that in the book of Colossians, Colossians 2 verse, uh, verse 9 and 10, said the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwells in Jesus Christ. And we are complete in him who is the head of all principality 
and power. So he continues here to say that, that that we have this treasure, that means the Holy Spirit, now in the eighteen verse. Our body is the eighteen verse because Adam was created with the with the dust of the earth. The Bible says God molded him from the dust of the earth and he breathed his life light into Adam and Adam became a living soul. So uh, now we are created in the same in Adam image. Anybody that is born on the face of the earth, but you have to be born again so that you can have the spiritual image of Jesus Christ. Amen. In in Jesus name so now we in this 18 verse where we are now we are living the, now the Bible said now the treasure which is the Holy Spirit is now in this 18 verse and he said that the excellency of the power of God may not be all may may be unto God and not unto us so now like we are born again Christian the whole power the Holy Spirit is living in us the Bible said don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit so now the Holy Spirit lives inside us that is why you know as the holy spirit is now living with us i love this scripture in the book of uh, ephesians uh, ephesians 3 20 he said now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to his power the holy ghost power that work in us so this earth power it is of god and it is not of us so verse 8 say that so that is why we are troubled we can be troubled on every side but yet we are not distressed we can be perplexed but yet we are not despair we can be persecuted but yet we are not forsaken we are, can be cast down but not destroyed we are always bearing in our body the dying of the lord jesus christ that the life also of jesus christ might be made manifest in our body yes we always have the holy spirit living in us and that dying that happened that took place when you come to christ it is activated in you that is why jesus said that that you should carry your cross amen and follow him when you come to to follow him so the bible says that we are like the like a sheep that is led on to the slaughter amen so but the holy spirit is living now inside us so that the life of god of jesus christ is made manifest in our body even though we are carrying bearing around that death of the lord jesus christ that that that, that took place on the cross we ourselves because when G, what happened to jesus happened to us when jesus died we also died when he was resurrected we also was resurrected amen in the name of jesus christ because the head and the body is one the bible says jesus is the head of the church and we are his body we are members in particular so verse 11 say we so for we which live are always delivered unto death because of jesus sake that the life also of jesus christ might be made manifest in our mortal body so then dead work in us but life in you we have that same spirit of faith according as it is written i believe and therefore i have spoken we also believe and therefore we speak so the spirit that spirit of faith now is a speaking spirit and that speaking spirit is living in us we have faith the bible says anybody with a born again christian have faith we have a measure of faith every born again christian because faith is part of the uh, it is a fruit of the spirit so when you become a born again christian your own nature died that old man that used to have the old nature the sinful carnal nature died and then the holy spirit now come and start living with, in you and he has his nature and that is called the fruit of the spirit which is peace joy love long suffering faith you know the, it is in the book of galatians i think galatians 5 23 it is written there the fruit of the spirit and one of the fruit of the spirit is faith and the bible says that we have faith therefore we speak because people when you have faith then you speak and you know we believe and therefore we we speak amen in jesus name. when you believe the bible says you believe in your heart that jesus christ uh, was raised from the dead um, died for your sin and raised from the dead and you declare with your mouth you you speak it with your mouth that jesus is lord you shall be saved whosoever call upon the name of the lord shall be saved that's what it is written so that um, that spirit of faith is in every believer amen in the name of jesus he said knowing this knowing that he which raised up the lord jesus from the dead 
who raised up who, who okay knowing that he which raised up the lord jesus shall raise up us also by jesus and shall also present us with you yeah the holy spirit the bible talk about that in the book of uh, Ephesians, uh, uh, the book of uh, romans 8 he said, if the spirit of him that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, he that raised Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body. Yes, the Holy Spirit will now reside in any, but all the born again Christian. He is the one that raised Jesus from the dead, the Holy Ghost. And he is the one that also raised us up from the dead. When we died with Jesus in baptism and was raised also. And he will be the one that will rapture the church. So the Holy Spirit is living in all the believers. The Bible says that our body is now the temple of the Holy Ghost. So I love that song. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you and dwells in me. The same Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you and dwells in me. He will quicken a mortal body by His Spirit that dwells in you. Oh, He will quicken a mortal body by His Spirit that dwells in me. Yes, that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is living now his life in you. The Bible, Paul was speaking in the book of Galatians 2.20. He said, I am crucified with Christ. He's talking about his old man. That old nature was crucified with Christ. He said, nevertheless, I live. It is not I that live again, but it is Jesus Christ that is living his life now in me. The Bible talk about that Jesus is living in us now. is the hope of glory. Christ is in you, is the hope of glory. So the hope Holy Spirit came now to live now his life in us. Since the blood has been shed, Jesus has been glorified. So now the Holy Spirit now, through the blood of Jesus, has washed our, our container, cleansed our heart. Now this earthen vessel is ready for the Holy Spirit to come and live in the born again Christian. Anybody who is a born again Christian is a believer, is have the Holy Spirit living inside you. You can sometimes not feel it or you can say, oh, because the Holy Spirit Spirit is not a feeling you know the holy spirit is not the experience is not a feeling the holy spirit is god and is living his life you, you can fall down that's why this scripture the lord was giving it to me that time that was in so many many attacks he said we are troubled on every side but we are not distressed because the holy spirit is living in us and we can do all things through christ who threaten us we are perplexed but not despair we are persecuted but we are not forsaken we are cast down but not destroyed we are always better Bearing in our body the dying of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we are not despaired. The Holy Spirit is living in us. He's our helper. He's our strengthener. Amen. He is our advocate. He is the one helping us. So now we are now in the in verse 16. Verse 16 says that for which we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Amen. We faint not. This verse two, also, this verse one was talking the same thing here. Say so we faint not. So we have received mercy. We have received this ministry. We faint not. That was what the Lord was telling me in 2018. He was saying that you cannot faint. It's my ministry. You don't give up, right? It's my ministry. So we are not discouraged. We are not weary. The Holy Spirit is with us. That is the same. He was repeating here that for this cause we faint not even though our outer appearance our out, outward man outward man means your body just your body can be perishing that means looking old or weak but your inward man which means the real you which is your soul and your spirit is renewed day by day amen in jesus name for our light affliction which is for a moment work for you say work for us a far more exceeding and internal glory so the light affliction that happens to us i also love this scripture here in the book of uh, let me show you the book of uh, romans 8 romans 8 was talking here romans 8 said for the earnest expectation of the creation wait for the manifestation of the 
sons of God for the creation. No, this is not what I want to read. I want to read the verse 18. I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed unto us. That was the same thing that I was saying here. That the affliction that we are having now, the light affliction, that is just for a moment. It working for far more exceeding glory, weight of glory, internal glory. That is the Holy Spirit glory, the glory that because God is glory, God is life and light. So he's saying that this light affliction that we are just have, having in this time now at here, it is working. It is working for far more exceeding weight of glory in the name of Jesus. So we look not on the things that are seen, the outward things, but we uh, but are the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are just temporal, but the things which are not seen are internal. All what we see with our eyes here on this earth will burn with fire. It is just temporal. But the things which are not seen, they are internal. Amen. Because God is internal. The Spirit of God is internal. There is a, a, a physical realm. There is also a spiritual realm. Most people they who are in this world, who the God of this world has blinded their eyes, they think that there is only a physical realm. No, we have a spiritual realm which is internal. We have a heaven which is internal. God is internal. God's word is internal. God says everything, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. Way. Even we ourselves, we are internal beings. We are spirit beings. We have a soul and we live in the body. This body that we see, you people see from the outside, is not a demand. The man is inside the body. When you die, it is still your body. People will see. It is still the coffin and even dead will still see your body, but they will not see your soul and your spirit because your soul and your spirit is internal. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be changed in the twinkle of an eye. That's what First Corinthians 15 was saying. We will be changed. So they say this corruptible, this this body, this corruptible body will put on uh, in, in, uh, incorruptible. And this mortal, this our mortal body will put immortality. So we will take the form of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus now is living now in his um in his spiritual body because the earthly body uh the the uh, the early the early body that we have now which is the cell like jesus body will die you will also die and be buried on the ground but we have an internal body we will have a spiritual body amen in the name of jesus that spiritual body i know that it's written in the book of uh, second i mean first corinthians 15. let me go there first corinthians 15 talks about that a little bit because he was speaking here he say also say the first man adam was made a living soul and the last adam was made a quickening spirit how about a bit that was the first which is spiritual but that which was natural and afterward that which is spiritual for the first man is of the earth is earthly so because adam was born made from the soil of the earth that is why every human being that is born on this face of the earth is earthly that have that earthly body they call it the earthen vessel until you are born again then you now you still have the early body but you have now your spirit is now recreated your spirit is now the spirit of god amen in jesus name the holy spirit lives in spirit. say the second man which is jesus christ now the second adam or you call him the last adam is now the lord from heaven so as it is the earthly as we have taken the body of the early such he say are uh, they also that are earthly all of us are earthly and as the heavenly such also are they that are heavenly so when you are born again christian you will now when you die you also receive the heavenly body of the lord jesus christ so he said and um, as we have born we have received or taken the image of the earthly man which is adam we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man which is jesus christ now this i say brethren that the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of god yes this is our body that we have now this flesh and blood will not go inside heaven directly we have to be changed we must have a different type of body 
neither do corruptible corruption now inherit in corruption he said behold i will show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed in a moment in a twinkle of an eye at the last trump when that sound will take place the rapture bam everybody will see on this uh, that last trumpet when it will sound the rapture will take place the bible says that the dead shall be the dead shall be raised incorruptible that means they will not have this body they will have spirit spiritual body and also we also will be changed people who have have not died before who are still here on earth they will be changed for this corruptible that is this our body that we have this corruptible shall put in corruptible and this mortal because this our body we have is mortal it's a mortal body so we will put on immortality because mortal means that something that can die but immortality is something that cannot die so we'll have the same body like the lord jesus because the lord jesus christ is in heaven now he has his immortality body the light is passing through that body that body cannot die so when the corruptible have to put on incorruptible and when this mortal this our deadly body shall put on immortality then it shall be brought now to pass the saying that uh it will be saying what is written death is swallowed up in victory then you say oh dead where is your sting oh grave where is your victory the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law but thanks be unto God, which has given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, we have victory through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus on the cross. Because if not sin, it was the disease that affect the whole human race. But the Bible says now that if you become a born again Christian, you have delivered from sin you are free from sin because anyone that died is free from sin. So sin cannot have dominion over you and because you are justified now by the blood of jesus because without shedding of blood there is no remission of sin so jesus shared his blood for the remission of sin so the strength of sin is the law because before there was no law there was no there was sin in the world but there was no strength of sin but when the law came through moses and then this when they say you shall not do that you cannot steal you cannot steal, come here adult you can't that was when strength the strength of sin now became true because of the law. But thanks be unto God, we are delivered from the law in the body of Christ. The law which we have now in the spirit and in the life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and the law of death. And it's because we give glory to God. We say thanks be unto God, which has given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I had this dream many times in 2000 and, um 20 2000 and uh, uh i think it was 2011 i was singing this song thanks be unto god for giving us victory it was from heaven that song was diluted in my spirit thanks be unto god for giving us victory thanks be unto god for giving us victory through my lord jesus christ hallelujah thanks be unto god for giving us victory and thanks be unto God for giving us victory thanks be unto God for giving us victory through my Lord Jesus Christ so he said therefore my brother therefore beloved brethren you are my beloved brother all of you who are today doing this Bible study with me he said be ye steadfast that means you stand strong steadfast on movable always abounding in the work of the lord for as much as you know that our labor is not in vain yes always abounding do your ministry don't faint do evangelism everybody has received the ministry of reconciliation you are ambassador of jesus christ here on earth if you are safe your time here on earth is temporary you are working for the lord jesus christ the king of king the lord of lords so he said always abounding in good works amen in jesus name amen 
in the works of the Lord for as much you know that your labor that you are doing is not in vain in the name of Jesus. So that is that for today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this time in this Bible study in the name of Jesus. I pray that everybody will listen, will do the Bible study with us, with me today in Jesus' name. We'll be blessed with your word, with your scriptures in Jesus' name. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any to a sword piercing even to the dividing of asunder of soul and spirit of joy and marrow it is a descender of the thoughts the even the intents of the heart in the name of jesus the bible says the word of god is fire the word of god is sword and spirit father wash your people today with the word of god the water of the word in the name of jesus straighten their spirit man in the mighty name of jesus lord jesus you are the high priest of our confession you say we should not we should confess we should declare with your word and you we shall be justified so we thank you father in the name of the lord jesus christ that the god of this world will have blinded the eyes of those who will not believe we pray that they are today they will find the gospel in the name of jesus will turn to you father in jesus christ mighty name that you will remove that veil from their heart in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ in jesus name i pray also father that all those who are in false religion and in false churches the churches that are ruled by the satan the devil of this world the god of this world father i pray that you give the revelation of yourself and deliver them out of the hand of the enemy in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ and bless everyone today in jesus name we thank you for your word father you said we are we are let me go back to second corinthians one minute second corinthians that we were studying you said father that we are trouble on every side but we are not distressed we thank you for the holy spirit that is in our 18th verse the power of god in the name of jesus christ we are not perplexed we are not despair we can be persecuted but we are not forsaken you are also you always with there for us we are cast down but we are not destroyed lord we thank you for your holy spirit power the power that is cast on the dead that dwells in us in the mighty name of jesus lord we do not trust in ourselves but we trust in you we who raise the dead in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We trust in you who raise the dead who is living in us. The Holy Spirit are quickening our mortal body in Jesus' name. Father, we are not looking only on the things that are here, the light affliction, but we are looking for the far exceeding glory, the far internal weight of glory in the name of Jesus. We don't look only on things that are seen, but on things that are not seen, because the things that are seen here are just temporal, but the things that are not sin are internal in the name of the lord jesus father we give you glory and praise in jesus name we thank you for your light that you have put down in our heart that shines in our heart the holy spirit comes to the so the spirit of jesus christ come to live in our hearts whereby we cry abba father that spirit of adoption we thank you lord in jesus name that you have adopted us in your family in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ glory be to god in jesus name i thank you lord cover everyone with the blood of jesus brothers and sisters put the whole arm of god in the name of the lord jesus christ fight the good fight of faith and take hold of internal life steadfast in the faith amen in the name of jesus christ you see what the lord told us here that we have faith and therefore we have spoken you say for for this cause where is the faith here we have the spirit having now you say we having the same spirit of faith so we have faith according as it is written i believe and therefore i have spoken we also believe and therefore we speak amen we have faith in god amen god is the rewarder of all those who diligently seek him in the mighty name of jesus so have faith in god brothers and sisters in jesus christ's name leave your comments down below in the mighty name of jesus thank you for studying the scriptures with me today this saturday in the name of jesus christ and also uh, subscribe if you are new here and god bless you for that in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ and have a wonderful weekend in jesus name i will see you in the next audio or in the next video shalom in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you god bless you in jesus christ mighty name